Chris the Nightmare Ariel, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? So, a few people have been asking me in the comment section on some Dillian White videos. What's my thoughts about Dillian White uh, possibly taking on Ian Lamb out Lewison on October the 7th? Um, and there was an article that came out on Sky Sports. I'll probably leave that in the description box. And, you know, like always on my channel, you can click it, read it, and come to your own surmise. But there was an article on uh, Sky Sports uh, September 2nd. So about, what's today? So, so about 10 days ago. Um, and it was Dillian White saying that he would like to face Ian Lewison in a, you know, South London showdown. And I'm hearing there's some uh, history between the two fighters. They, you know, fought in the same gym early in their careers. Uh, Ian Lewis, a little bit about him. For those of you that don't know, he's 12 wins, two losses. Eight of his 12 wins have come by knockout. He hasn't been stopped, and he has one draw. Um, he's been six rounds one time, and that was his first fight of his pro career. Rather than that, he's been scheduled for four rounders. Uh, he did have a 10 rounder scheduled against Tom Dallas, but he got the win in the second round, a technical knockout. Tomas Morazic, another journeyman level guy I've heard of that he's fought. He's fought twice this year. Um, I look at his weight, though, and I watch some of his fights. Like I watched the uh, I watched a few fights on YouTube. I watched the uh, prize fighter tournament fight. He had the semifinal round against Derek Rossi. Very close competitive fight. Um, Could have went either way when I watched it. Um, but I thought the first round was, was close. I thought, uh, Rossi won the third, but you know, when I look at him though, when I, when I look at Lewison, 34 year old, you know, but his weight just keeps going up and up and up and up, man. Uh, against Tom Dallas, he weighed in at 247 and that was one of his lower weights, um, throughout his career at that point in time. That was 2013, and then since then, it's been 261, and then 261 again, um, and then 268, and then now he's 275. So, I'm sure this would be scheduled most likely, most likely for a 10-rounder if he were to face Dillian White. I'm not sure on that, but I think it would be a schedule for a 10-rounder. Um, I just think at this point, Dillian White's in a little bit better shape than Lewison. I think it'd be entertaining fight. Lewison seems like the type, at least from the style breakdown that I did, um, likes to fight with his hands low. He likes to fight in a slick manner, meaning he likes to move his head, give you, you know, give you the shoulder, uh, peck away with the jab. But his his main objective is the uh, he wants to rain down left and right hooks and overhand rights. He's a hooker, you know. He likes to get mid range and let hooks go. Um, I think Dillian White has a better jab. I think White can actually uh, outbox him from the outside. Although Lewison, you know, he's a sneaky puncher, but he just mainly likes to throw hooks. And I think those can be timed. But being that these are heavyweights, man, then they get caught with shots all the time because heavyweights, you know. Further the fight goes, you know, the more tired they get, their head doesn't move as much and they start to wing heavy shots. So I think it'd be entertaining fight being that it's a domestic fight, being that the guys have history. I just seen on uh, Twitter it was like 18 hours ago on Twitter. I believe it was Twitter. Uh, Ian Lewis and he had a caption up. Let me see if I can find it real quick. But he had a, yeah, it was on Twitter. Uh, it says, uh, I think this is how the idea came about at Dillian White. And then the picture is two dudes look like they're smoking. They're smoking out of a pipe. It's a white dude smoking out of a pipe. And then a black dude's kind of sitting behind him. And then the black dude, there's a caption above his face that says, uh, I know what would be a good idea fighting Ian Lewis and that's supposed to be Dillian White. So they're going back and forth on social media. Um I say make the fight happen. I mean we know that Dillian White was getting talked about as far as fighting Chisura. Chisura just got a victory um in Sweden against uh Jan Jan and he just beat him. I thought that fight was a possibility for, you know, maybe December, but there's still time left for that. But uh then Antonio Tarver was another name being thrown out there. Now, if you were to ask me, I would rather see him fight one of those guys because right now it seems like Dillian White's claim to fame, man, is, and I have to agree with Tarver, is just being knocked out by Anthony Joshua. And I'm just being honest with you. Besides that, there's nothing else to really hang the hat on. You know what I mean? Because before the Anthony Joshua, it was, 
I beat Anthony Joshua's in the amateurs, you know, plus he was undefeated. And don't, don't get me wrong. Dillian White has power. He has the charisma. Uh, he has boxing, a good boxing ability. I mean, he's definitely somebody I want to see around, but I want to see him step his competition up. You know, uh, I, I would have chose the Tarver fight. Now, we can argue that, you know, I've been hearing that Tarver priced himself out. But then I heard uh, Dillian White on his social media say, Tarver, I'll pay you the 20000 It's kind of like, well, I mean, 20000 seems like a low. <laughs> you know, it seems, seems like he went low. And I'm not sure how much uh, Antonio Tarver was asking for. But um, but then I heard Tarver say something like he was even turning down 75000 I heard Tarver say that 75000 isn't even enough isn't even enough for him to train you know what I mean? So, or go to a training camp. So, I'm not sure, man. Somewhere between twenty thousand and seventy-five thousand, I, I believe Tarver was being offered, and uh, he turned it down. So, Dillian White must move on. He can't just you know sit around chasing Tarver. As entertaining as they are, with you know going back and forth on social media, he just can't chase Tarver around. So, uh, I would rather see him fight Ian Lewison than see him fight a Ivica Perkovic type of opponent. Or a, you know, dis, no disrespect, but like a Jason Gavern type. Of, I don't want to see him fight those type of guys. Those elk of fighters or Travis Walker. I don't want to see that. I would rather see him fight Ian Lewison. You know what I mean? I would rather see him fight a, even somebody on a higher level than an Ian Lewison, like a, a Chris Ariola type. I, I know Ariola just lost against um, Wilder. But I'm, I'm saying those type of fighters, not necessarily Chris Ariola, but... I want to see him step up and maybe take on some of these other undefeated prospects. I mean, Adrian Granat was calling you out, man. And I know at this time he was going back and forth with Chisura and Dillian White. But, you know, and then uh, Adrian Granat, he ended up taking the fight with uh, France Real, whose only loss was to Robert Hellenius when he replaced um, Erkin Tepper. Uh, so, and I'm talking about France Real replaced Erkin Tepper for the Hellenius fight, then Hellenius beat him. But, um, you know, I wouldn't mind the fight, man. There's some history there, and I do know at the very least Ian Lewison will go out there and at least, you know, attempt to try to get Dillian White out of there with, you know, like I said, he likes to throw hooks, he likes to get close, he likes to, you know, brawl it out a little bit. Um, I think his best fight, in my opinion, was the loss to Derek Rossi. So both of these guys be going into a fight where they're, you know... <laughs> Best fights were losses, you know, so that's my opinion on this fight. I will be picking Dillian White. I think he just has more facets to his game. I think he can use his jab and out outbox Lewis from the outside. I um, think he's in a better condition than Lewis. Um, seems as if Lewis and weight just continues to go up dramatically, man. So I'm not sure um, what he'll look like going into round five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If he has to box um, Dillian White and some, you know, some may argue, well, shit, man, how will Dillian White go super deep into a fight if he's fatigued? You know, so but I'm going to just pick Dillian White in this fight, man. I think uh, just a better fighter, you know, not to say that Lewis is not a tough guy and he's not going to come to win. But I just think uh, Dillian White's a better fighter. Um, and maybe after this, like I said, man, we can get something. You know, uh, a Gerald Washington, a, a Trevor Bryan, a Jarrell Miller. I mean, I like to see any of those fights. Uh, Michio Wallace, Tom Schwartz, Izuaganu. Anybody that wants to step up and fight them, man, that's in somebody's one of these uh, sanctioned bodies top 15. That's my opinion on this, man. I'm out.